A violent fight at Whitefish Bay High School sends one student to the hospital, another to jail. So why didn't the school notify parents? The I-team's Rob Coble is working to get parents' answers. Rob. This wasn't just your usual high school fight. Several squad cars and an ambulance were called to the scene, and dozens of kids packed into the boys' locker room to watch the fight, but nobody stopped it, and parents were never told. Take a look at the surveillance video from inside the school. Just minutes after classes let out, dozens of kids rushed to the boys' locker room, ready to see a fight. 911, where's your emergency? Uh, what's the high school? Which one? Um, there's a fight, and kids uh, got punched in the this is dash cam video from a Whitefish Bay squad car. Several officers head to the school with sirens blasting away. The fight wasn't captured on the surveillance video inside the locker room, but instead, a police report gives the blow-by-blow -blow account of what happened inside. It says the 16-year-old boys were friends and were fighting over a girl. They had planned to meet inside the locker room and settle it with their fists. Did you get an ambulance? Yes, we need an ambulance. Okay, I'll get some right over Paramedics found the teen lying on the ground, semi-conscious, in a pool of blood. The kid who punched him took off running. I'm with a couple witnesses here on Hanson and Idlewild. He just said he ran between some yards over here. Cops busted him a few blocks away. Where are you running for, man? No, no, you were running. The teen is thrown into the back of a squad car. The entire incident kept from parents at Whitefish Bay. No notes or emails sent home. Hi, I was looking to speak with the principal, please. The principal refused to answer my questions on camera, but sent me an email instead saying, we don't typically notify parents of such an occurrence at our school. The school made sure the two students involved in the fight suffered consequences, and that the school followed up with the students who watched the fight, but didn't do anything to stop it. One teen got a ticket for battery, the other for disorderly conduct. Both were also suspended from school. We found out about this fight from worried parents, wanting to know why they had to find out about it from their kids and not the school. Those parents were too scared to talk on camera and fear their own kids would be picked on in school. On your side, Rob Coble, today's TMJ4.